Hey gang, I don't really rant that often on politics or America or anything like that, but something happened the other day that I just have to get off my chest and I gotta tell you guys in all honesty, it, it, it's further proof of what I've been saying for a long, long time, and that is that we are basically a country that's being run by complete frickin' morons, okay? Here's the deal. Sometime, I guess, around last week, uh, some states were trying to ban daylight savings time, trying to say, you know, we don't want it, we don't need it, it messes things up, it confuses people, all this other stuff. And then apparently, about a day or so ago, Congress decides that they are not going to go through with a banning of daylight savings time. It's going to keep going the way it is. Well, duh! This is why we are considered a country full of idiots. This is why foreign countries are beating the crap out of us out of everything. Okay? This is why a lot of foreign countries are doing very well financially and just everything else. Because we as Americans basically worry about these petty, stupid little things in which we basically just try to make stuff like this happen all the time. And we go to Congress, we go to our our leaders, you know, the president, uh, I said the Congress, mayors, governors, senators, whoever, and just say, we want this stuff done. And they actually try to consider doing it, and then they realize you can't do that. You can't stop time change, okay? You can't stop another hour from coming coming around because it's going to come around. You, you, you can't do anything about it. You can't do anything about time change, whether it goes up an hour, back an hour, whatever it is. It's basically just like saying, it's not really fair we have to lose an hour of sleep or gain an hour of sleep. What's the difference? You go to sleep. You sleep as long as you can. You sleep as long as you want to. What's it matter if you lose an hour, gain an hour, or anything like that? But this whole thing about Congress trying to put a ban on it, it was so stupid. It's a waste of time. It's a waste of money. It's a waste of effort. But we as Americans put these people into, 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 into power, into control of our lives and everything like that. And when stuff like this happens, I sit there and I go, thank you, God, I don't vote. It's another reason why I don't believe in this country and I don't believe in our great leaders. I haven't believed in, 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 uh, in presidents or anybody like that for a long, long time. And this is another reason why, because they're just wasting our time doing stupid stuff like this. We seem like a bunch of petty people who are trying to control things we can't control. We can't control the world. We can't control the air. We can't control the universe. We can't control anything because we're not in charge. But that's what we want. We want to be in charge of everything. But we can't be because we don't have the intelligence to do that. We don't have the know-how, the smarts, or anything like that. Because even if we did, we'd mess it up even worse. We'd mess up this world even worse than the, than the condition that's already in. So here we are, we're trying to control time change. We're trying to control climate change. We're trying to control the, just everything. Our egos are so massive, we have to do something to try and make this world a better place because we've been screwing it up since the very beginning of time with Adam and Eve. They were the originators of screwing this, uh, this, uh, this, well, not this country up, this world up. And ever since then, it's been going on ever since. You know what I'm really waiting for? Those cancel culture morons to sit here and go, we're going to put a cancel on time change, on daylight savings time. That'll really prove how much of a bunch of morons we are. Because people who believe in those idiots, I feel sorry for you. So as far as all the stuff going on, folks, we have to realize we cannot control something we cannot, we cannot handle, we cannot fix. We, can't, we cannot control time change. We cannot control the planet. We cannot control pretty much anything because, like I said, if we did, we'd mess it up even worse. So we need to stop trying to rely on Congress and the government and everybody like that to try and do things that they have no power over because we're making ourselves look dumber and dumber and dumber and dumber. When's it going to end? 
I wish I knew. I'm not a psychic. And you know what? I don't even believe in those people either. So really, in all honesty, this has got to stop. All this nonsense of, you know, you know, let's try to control things. Let's try to control everything. It's not going to happen. Let's get it through our heads, folks. We can't control everything. Some things we can, some things we can handle, maybe some things we can fix and save to make this world a better place for the next generation. But if we keep doing stupid stuff like this, we're in trouble. So let's just realize some things we can't control, some things we can't fix, especially when it comes to time change. I know I'm just talking out of my head, and I imagine a lot of people out there, well, that are in control of this country, are not going to watch the video, and that's fine. But I want to know what you guys think. Let me know in the comments below what you think about all this stuff about everybody trying to control everything that you can't control. I just say this much. Leave it in God's hands. Because he can fix it if we just give him the chance. Because we try to fix up, if we try to fix something we've been messing up for years, like I said, we're only going to make it worse. Just my opinion. Thanks for watching, everybody. God bless you all. Hope you're having an awesome day. Hope you enjoyed the video. And if you like my videos, please feel free to subscribe. Let's stop trying to destroy the world. Let's stop. Let's, I mean, seriously. We've done enough damage as it is already. Let's help others who really, really need it right now. Let's keep praying this virus non, this virus nonsense is going to stop very, very soon. And whether or not you believe in God, he believes in you. And if you would, help a fellow YouTuber reach 100 subscribers, 1,000 subscribers, 10,000 or 100,000 subscribers. I'm trying to get 500 myself. And any goals you try to achieve in life, hope you get there and get there soon. As long as it's legal, nobody gets hurt, especially yourself. And whether or not you believe in God, He believes in you. So take care of yourselves. And uh, I think I said that already. And also, and uh, remember, if you and uh, remember, you're here for a reason. If you weren't, you wouldn't be missed. Take care of yourselves. Try to be good. Try to be good yourself. Try to be good to others. Till we do this again, as always, stay strong and rock on. God help us all.